Hola, YouTube. It's still May 5th. You like my teacher look? Okay, so I, I felt that I should make another small addendum to that last film. And uh, I'm in a different place now. I'm in front of a beautiful, lovely, high-end market in the same town in Washington State. And uh, I want to talk about preparedness because what I'm realizing is that people in this area and where I was in California a little bit, but up in Washington, I get the feeling that people don't know what's going on. They don't listen to, well, they probably listen to fake news or whatever's left of the journalism of long ago is long dead, but there are many stations now. American Intelligence Media is one that I watch, and I believe that that, that would be a, a great place for you to go. Um, lovely two people there, uh, Thomas and Betsy. <clears throat> and uh, you would learn a lot. But um, aside from that, uh, I think people don't know what's happening. So they look very worried and stressed out and they are thus not prepared because they don't know what could be coming. Maybe they get some little rumors about what's coming, but I know what's coming because <laughs> I've been studying it for a lot of years. Uh, I've wondered for a long time, something was off. Something was off, it was intuition, and now I know that it is... Uh, a lot of things. Uh, um, actually, a series of many things. But uh, we've been under the uh, <laughs> under the hand, under the hammer, under the mm, of of a what you want to call a quiet, very um, subversive, fraudulent kind of a system. You might call it. Although we were not aware, we just went to our jobs and. We were taught as children to be ethical, to know right from wrong, and to never lie, and, and all those things that, you know, you thought were the right things to do, when in fact, the people that were uh, running the show were doing all the fraud and all the lying. So um, now we're, many of us are, uh, they use the term waking up, but becoming aware, becoming insightful, just getting smarter, um, learning, learning. And so we're not going to be doing some big rebellion deal and out in the streets and whatnot. We, ours is a very quiet movement against a quiet movement. Um, and it's very slow. It could take another, I don't know, 10, 20, 50, 100 years. But we have to reverse things. And um, I, uh, in my van here, I have about a month's worth of food. It's freeze-dried, dehydrated food. I have water probably for about a week. Um, it's a good thing to have in case there's a catastrophic event, and I don't want to scare you or anything, but it's a good idea to just have some food, like a, you know, being a scout in the old Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts kind of thing. Just be prepared and have some food, have some water, and uh, have some metals, some precious metals, have some protection of some kind, because people get a little bit upset when they're hungry. I don't know if you've ever seen real hunger and what, how people get when they're real hungry. <laughs> but you need to protect yourself and your family. And I don't know how you'll do that, but that's not for me to say. Uh, if you're in a remote area, it's probably better. Uh, cities tend to be in kind of lockdown sometimes when there's a situation like that. I think they call it martial law, but it could be called a lot of things. And uh, then if you're in a country area, people could say, hey, they've probably got a lot of supplies. Let's get out there and, and uh, you know persuade them, negotiate with them to get some of their supplies. Well, they may not negotiate, so you need to be ready for that. I was thinking once back that I would have, oh, you know, a bag of rice, or I would have a, um, a fifth of uh, vodka, and I would give that as a, you know, as a gift. But, you know, once you give a gift, they, they re people that are hungry or thirsty or <clears throat> wanting some fire water, they'll, they'll figure that you've got more back there somewhere else. So you want to be ready for that. So that's what I'm advocating. And I think that's why people look a little stressed and worried because they don't really know what's going on because they're not told the truth. Because we have a terrific, amazing propaganda machine in this country. It's, it's quite detailed and huge. And it's been going on for a long time. Um, I'm in the public schools and so I know I don't say a thing to the students about it, of course. I don't have an agenda. I go there to watch them do their lessons and do the lessons I'm told to do. And that's, that's what I'm paid for and I do that. Uh, they can learn on their own if they want to do some reading. It's just up to them. Same thing with adults. It's really up to you to learn to do the reading and to get ready for whatever. I mean, nothing could happen, but the chances are it's a little feeling like 60 to 70% that something large will occur. 
And that large comes from central banks being very afraid of uh, losing their little fraud scheme, which goes into the courts and the tentacles go all over the place. And it's not just the central banks. It's, well, they're pretty at, much at the base of it. But <clears throat> what you want to do is uh, prepare yourself and be strong and be strong of spirit. I don't advocate a religion on this channel. Um, I'm, I go to all religions. Many times I'll go to four or five churches or temples or events in one month. But uh, I would say have a strong base in your character, people that surround you, that support you, that care about you and love you, and ask for them to be kind and understanding of your beliefs because uh, you are kind and understanding of their beliefs, however wacky they may be and however wacky they think you are. <laughs> so um, this is my short addendum. I hope it's shorter. Uh, that that's why people are looking a little stressed. They need to do some reading from the right places. And they can find that if they do the journeying and take the time to look up what's really going on. All right. So have a happy weekend.